Chase, obviously, you had high hopes for this one. Assess the disappointment and what you provide perspective with, and given that it means something that it's local, but it doesn't mean anything for a ten, as far as a tens are concerned. Yeah, we view every moment that we step on the field as a learning moment, and that's what this comes down to. Uh, clearly, I think anybody that watched the game understands it's not a 5-2 game, uh, and I think that you know the second half in particular, we have a lot of things in a positive way that we can take away from it. Um, you know, we just have to learn from it, and we have to move forward. As you slow the heartbeat down, how much, if at all, do you want this one to hurt? I mean, I think you want every loss to hurt, right? You want every loss to be something that the guys never want to feel again. Um, so ultimately, I think, you know, watching the guys walk off the field, their, their, their heads and, and their emotions are in the right spots, and, and it's about taking that and channeling it for good. The two first half goals, both from a, uh, a 30 foot view, look like they were watched in, in some respects. You can't, you know, maybe look at a flag and judge the flag in terms of in the moment, but you can judge the watching. Just how tough is it to see that it was own mistakes, not individual effort, that were conceding those goals? Yeah, that's the most disappointing part about the first half. And I told the guys at halftime that was our worst 45 minutes of the season. We, we really didn't create much. We, uh, you know, they had two shots on goal, and, and we really gave them both opportunities. They really didn't break us down very much, um, and so that's that hurts. That hurts, and again, that's why it's a learning moment. We've got to take from it, um, you know, those moments, so that you know, again, we don't see those types of moments again. We don't, we don't allow things like that to happen again. What does it say about the effort to immediately when you concede the third goal? It'd be easy to drop the shoulders. It'd be easy to you know, go to the bench, et cetera, et cetera, for them to, for Osk especially, just to jump right in and score a goal, and then they provide enough pressure for an own goal. And you had two good maxi looks in the box to get a potential equalizer. You were right there. That has to, despite the sting right now, that has to be some, something of a good feeling. Absolutely. No, I think that there is there is positives to take away from it. And again, anybody who watched the game, they're not going to uh, feel like it was a 5-2 type of game. So, you know, the scoreline hurts, obviously, but it's not indicative of the play. So, again, we take the positives where we can, and we move forward to Saturday. I know, right, the, the referees are obviously a very touchy subject, but I know, and it's still raw, but I know that that emotion's still there. Just how important is it in those moments when you disagree to at least state your case, whether it be a flag up or, hey, you reviewed this, why can't you review that? Just how, where do you stand on it, and where do you kind of toe that line? Well, I think there's always a balance. Um, you know, people are humans. Humans are going to make mistakes. The problem is they seem to happen a lot here, um, and it's never for us. So again, it's 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 taking that emotion. It's trying to use it in a positive way. It's trying to ask questions in a positive way. And, and you know, obviously, you can see it from uh, you know the highest levels of soccer all the way down. That you know, we don't always. It's not always perfect, um, but but we try to make sure that we, we do it and stand up for our team. How much was adrenaline a factor early? Obviously, you're on short rest. They, they have the extra day, but they also came back late from the road. So it's almost 50-50. So how did you view just the stamina, the conditioning, the mental aspect of that 90 minutes? I mean, ultimately, that's why we do the preseason we do. Um, our guys battle for the entire 90. Uh, I can't fault them in their energy, especially in the second half. Um, I think in the first half, yeah, I think the emotions were there. I think the, the moment was maybe a little too big for some, and, and ultimately that's, again, it's another learning moment. Everybody at the end of a season schedules differently. You have SLU, which has scheduled two games, well, by proxy, and you made the decision to schedule this being the first of four. What made you make that decision? Was it to try to get your best soccer and get in rhythm versus the rest? Where did you kind of toe that line? Well, this was really the only time Pitt could play, so that was a part of it. So, um, And so you, you don't usually turn away games such as this one um, for RPI purposes. Um, but no, I mean, we make the best decisions possible with all the information we have. And, you know, you can look back at the end of the day and say, oh, maybe we should have done this or that. But ultimately, this is where we're at, and we got to move forward. Senior day is Saturday. I know you want to let this one sting and give the guys maybe a day, maybe two days to just rest their bodies or rest their mentality. When you look at these seniors that are getting honored, just what comes to mind is you obviously have a task to do, but obviously want to honor those at the same time. Yeah, I'm excited for the seniors. I mean, they've, they've helped turn this program um, in, in the right direction. They're a big part of our culture and, and high character individuals. Um, so I'm really excited for them. I'm excited to send them out against a tough team and, and we see where things go from there.